You can't say twat in America. Really? You cannot say twat. Twat is like saying the C word here. Is it really? It is. It's really bad. And I say it all the time. Yeah, because twat well, means... Well, because twat I'm... is also a verb. I've been twatted to myself. Yeah. Like... But, but also, it feels like it's a, it's a safe cunt because it's kind of like you're being a bit of a twat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's you're, like dickhead. F- flailing, yeah. No, but they'd you can say fuck before you can say twat. There. Really? Yeah, it's really intense. What it's uh, I've you, really struggled. Have you been told <laughs> off? But you can say wanker, and I managed to get wanker in on the good place, and they didn't cut it out. They have no swear words on that show. Yeah, it's all fork and shirt and yeah. and soak my deck. But it's but wanker's just in there. So w- wanker is less rude than twat. I find that it's insane. Yeah, man. Yeah, nothing makes any sense. Up is down. What mm. are you gonna do? Um, anyway, it's nice to be home where people do actually understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you? Do you miss London? Are you, fr- you from London? Yes, really, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. I'm yeah. from London. I was raised a bit in Spain, a um, bit in Pakistan, but most of my life has been in London and I left at 28 and I yearn for England all mm. of the time. But at... the weather is amazing in Los Angeles yes. and that's what I think has kept me there that long. And there's just like more opportunities. Like I think it's getting better here, but you're allowed to be more than one thing. You know, in the UK, we like a box. We love a box. Love a wonder box. Yeah, I was going to say. Obsessed with it here. I felt a bit awkward there. Uh, Yeah. Um, And there, there's more sort of like, you're like, oh, you want to try acting? Try acting. You want to do this? Like, no one knows you as one thing because the audience is so vast that loads of people will see you in one thing and never see you in the other thing. So you kind of get away with just sort of total, I guess, a kind of career schizophrenia. You can be so many different people and... Mm. And it's fine. And I think that was fun for me because I have never known what I'm doing. So it's nice to be able to just throw shit against the wall. And But do you have like a, a world out there that you'd miss? Do you have like kind of friends? Have All you my mates of... there are my English mates who I've forced to move over with me and move into my house. Okay, commune. Yeah. Okay. Cult. Cult, commune. Cult yeah. slash commune. That... Who's to say? How about a live reality show? Where we, the audience, have to figure out whether or not you're a cult leader. <laughs> that sounds fun. And then you just hang out with your mates <laughs> and away. Can you imagine that? Imagine if you if you convince a network to do a show where it was just you and your mates hanging out and you just isn't that the Kardashians? Yeah, I guess it is. But but they're told <laughs> what to say. I'm on about you. Yeah, we know that's a cult. Yeah. You're hoodwinking <laughs> the you're hoodwinking the world into thinking that something malevolent's going on, but it's just you. It's just me around. hanging out with my mates, yeah. But who, but, and who are your crew? Are we talking actors, my comedians? Crew, no, 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 no. Uh, they're mostly musicians. Uh, oh, really? boys who I've known since I was 19. And unbelievably, my very secure boyfriend of nine years let them move in with us. So you all live in to- together? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big happily family. Okay. Big happily family? Happily family works. Well, that's happening now. What? Um... That, but that's, that is unusual. Back of the neck. But, it, but that is unusual, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, how it's really strange because I'm almost 40. Yeah. Uh, but I love it so much and I could not recommend it enough. And we're not all shagging each other. No, I wasn't uh, implying. No, no, just but some people could think that I am in LA. Yeah. Um I but uh so I'm only shagging my boyfriend, but the other two are there for both of us to have a sort of like emotional support. Because I think spousal living is great but also slightly insane because you become more and more insular and then you stop really hanging out with your mates. And then also one person can't fulfill every part of your brain all of the time. Sometimes he wants to play video games and I want to do something else. I want to watch a movie. And it's annoying to feel this like obligation to have to always bend to someone else's whim when there's someone else in the house who you could fuck off and do that with anyway. Do they know that they're... Um, Being that, used? Yeah. Yeah. Do they know... I'm just, yeah, they, totally. They feel a bit like um, sort of Tamagotchis. Yeah. But, they're there for like, our pleasure. Yeah. Or, no, but it is fun. Though. It is fun. Like It's like we have like movie nights and we play like categories or banana grams together. It's like we... we. It's kind of kept us... It stopped us from developing and ageing, I would say, in, in probably negative ways because we have no sense of our age or responsibility. But it's so fun. It's just made ho- my whole life feel like uni. Like, it's just nothing feels serious. Yeah. And there's always a support system. There's always someone to tell you just before you walk out the door to a red carpet event where everyone's going to kiss your ass. you look like shit, um, which is very humbling. Mm. And grounding. But I, I think, who was the... Heath Ledger used to have that, didn't he? I think in LA, from watching his... Uh, the film about him, 
it, it was like an open house. So yeah. loads of Aussie actors would kind of migrate to Heath Ledger's place and sometimes he'd be there, sometimes not. When we're, we're supposed like, to be in villages, do you know what I mean? And like, yeah. LA is so, so bad for that because like you just live in your house and you have to drive to someone else's house. There's no pedestrian culture. So you don't bump into people. I've yeah. bumped into seven people on my way here today from Soho. Like I, you don't get that. So it's like you kind of have to put them in your house and yeah. not let them leave. Well, talking of <laughs> and chain them. Talking of um, to the radiator. <laughs> putting things in houses. What is the first thing in the box? Oh, first thing in the box. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's well, as we're on flatmates anyway. Let's mm -hmm. talk about coffee. Okay. Coffee's going in the box because coffee reminds me of all of the favourite moments of my life. Uh, because morning time with James is really sacred to the point where if I have to work at four a.m. for filming. He'll get up at 3 a.m. to make sure that we have that coffee together. Oh, Jesus Christ. Which is... What a prick. I know. I your mean, your just, wife is going to be mean, really why, pissed with you why, now. Just, <laughs> I mean, what a perfect toss pot. And Does no, he do, I would do that? The, yeah, but I do the same. I do the same. Oh, I, will wake up at any, I will wake up at any time to My make sure that Sam's I get that like coffee that. with him. Just, it's just like, it's our favourite time. Like We're completely... We're completely obsessed with each other. We're best friends. And it's unbelievable. Nine years in Hollywood when everyone else is so fit around us. Yeah. It's a hundred years. Yeah. Like we've whatever the next one after Diamond Jubilee is, I feel like we've done that. Because there's sexy people everywhere yeah. and we've managed to not shag any of them. Yeah. Only each other. It's probably because you're tired. Uh, yeah. You're, because... you're getting up at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Insomnia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we uh so coffee time is really sacred. And Who it's makes where, it? Uh, what's the uh, what's the pattern? He makes it because I make breakfast. Okay. So I feel like that's so he's actually got the better deal, but his is earlier, so uh -huh. a bit shit in that regard. Um, but we don't get the dogs up like the dogs like sleep in their bed until late. They're like teenagers; they okay. sleep in until really late. So it's just it's normally him and me. But sometimes, uh, if they're up early enough, the boys will get up and come and jump into our bed, and we will all share a big a giant donut or cookie and drink coffee so together. The, are the boys the dogs? The boys are not the dogs. The boys are the, the men, the grown adult <laughs> men who live in my house. Wow. So we're they're all, all best get... friends, yeah. I mean... So sometimes we'll all get in together, and because um, we do have a California king size bed, oh, sorry to brag, um, but we uh, we have a big old bed, and they jump in, and then we all sit and gossip half asleep and share a giant cookie or wow. um, or donut. This is yeah, like it really. It feels... is like a sitcom, but it, it's got an, a really nice sort of perpetual gap year feel to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I've 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 not learned anything in this life. <laughs> oh, but that's but what you've learned is that there's no rules. There are no rules, and and you know, like I don't want to have children. Uh, we were speaking about that before, and and so like there's no reason for me to grow up really. Yeah. Like I I'm having so much fun with them, and I love cooking with them, and and when one leaves, another like comes in and fills the room, and so it's just this feeling of like family and chosen family and community, and it's just amazing and so fun life is so much more fun uh for all of us having each other together yeah and and i i i don't really ever want to live without other people i obviously feel like when it's just me and james and we go off on holiday for a month or two together we have the best time but yeah. There's just something about community that human beings are lacking. This individualism culture, I think, is really dangerous. Yeah, but well, I think there's even a th there's been sort of studies into sort of um, multi generational living that mm. makes you live longer. Isn't that right, Dan? Yeah, yeah. What is so. in living with your family? Li oh, no, if, fuck that. But, it doesn't matter of family. Like oh, right, old okay. people, uh, young children keep old people going. Mm. Yeah. Also, they have a fantastic time together because their faculties and interests and like capacity for movement are relatively the same. <laughs> Absolutely. At a certain point. You yeah, know what sure. I mean? When you're geriatric and you're a baby, it's just like everything's slow. What I'm curious about, so you get up at three in the morning, get up at four, you, you make coffee. Yeah, only yeah. if we have to. Normally it's sure. a good, it's a nice solid eight or nine a.m. But you're having this sort of morning we coffee. We have our morning coffee and we call it ceremony because it is... It is a way of making sure that we recognise the gravitas of the importance of that time together. Because that's where we just like are fused for the day. Because we go off and we live such separate lives yeah. and we go on tour and all this other sh and so much shit happens during the day and all this nonsense and chaos and distraction. And it's just no phones. It's just us chatting, laughing, uh, gossiping and just 
being very, very like sort of vulnerable and silly with each other in mm. the morning. And I think it's genuinely like that it is the happiest time of my life. There is no award I've ever won. There is no holiday I've ever been on. There is there is no experience, no birthday party I've ever had that could ever compare to any single morning coffee I've had with my boyfriend wow. and my mates. Do they have partners themselves? Uh, on and off. So if they've got a relatively long term Young partner, English lads who've moved over to Los Angeles. I mean, they're living the love actually dream. Sure, but what I'm saying is, would there come a stage where their partners would be invited to the bed? The partners would have to be very funny. Right. So that's the that's the problem. So yes, like one of them, one of them, their girlfriend, uh, they've actually broken up and she's still living with us now. Wow. Because they get on great and she's amazing. Uh, so... She's hilarious, so she's allowed to stay. But I'm not having some <laughs> boring twat in my house. Right. Then they have to move out and get their own place. Yeah. If that's what they've chosen, then I don't I don't want to wake up to that. They can't no, get course. in my bed. No, no, no. That's weird. That first time yeah. that you invited them into the bed, I'm trying to think from that point of view. Oh, I didn't invite them into the bed. They came and just opened the door and came in and jumped on the bed with coffee. Oh, okay. Which is very messy. Yeah, but jumping on the bed is different to getting under the covers. Yeah, you know, they're on the bed. We're under the covers. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. So they're like dogs. Yeah, because otherwise then it is a bit fucky, isn't it? But that's what I mean. Yeah, but, yeah. But it's... But yeah. <laughs> on the, but it's... So they're just led... They're led sort but, of like diagonally. Yeah, you're, they're sort of facing us and yeah. then we're facing them. Right. So it's us two and them two. Yep. And um, we let them eat out of little bottle. No, <laughs> <laughs> we give them a bone. Uh, <laughs> that sounds wrong as well. Uh, but yeah.